Well, President Obama's in, now more states want out. Tens of thousands of people signing internet petitions pushing to have their state succeed from the, UN, the UN, union. And it sounds like Ron Paul says, well, maybe they have a right to do it. The Texas Republican congressman on the phone now. Congressman, it sounds like uh, you've really gotten behind this big time. You're the biggest name I've seen attached to this so far. Why do you think this is a good idea? Well, I haven't taken the position that I think secession is a good idea, but the principle is a good idea. You know, I'm not calling for secession, but I think if the secession would have been very clear on the books, the government would be much smaller today because the federal government couldn't run roughshod over the people and over the state. So I think that principle is very important. I think when you can't leave, it's a very bad thing. That is the absence of freedom. You know, if, if you can't leave your job, you're called a slave. If you can't leave a prison, then you, uh, if you can't leave a jail, you're a prisoner. And in a, one of the statements that used to be made in a totalitarian country when they've lost their freedom is when you can't leave your country. You know, Woodrow Wilson actually used one of the major reasons to fight World War I was the right of self-determination. So that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in people being able to leave if they don't like it. And right. the founders more or less endorsed that idea. Jefferson has a great quote on, on why secession should uh, be permissible. So it's not, it's not such an extreme idea, I don't think. I think it would have been a great thing, and I think our, uh, we'd have had a lot more freedoms and a much smaller federal government if that principle had lasted. What, what's that uh, Jefferson quote, by the way? Well, I don't have it right okay. in front of me, but I can sure dig it up. All right, well, we'll be looking for it next time. What do you make, though, that, that so many people actually do like this idea, that so many people are this frustrated with this country and with this government? What does that say about the state of America? Well, I think, it, uh, I think the justification is, is, is there. It means that we have a mess and that they no longer can depend on the federal government to deliver. And that's when, you know, the major crisis hits, when there's no more confidence that the dollars will buy anything and the entitlements won't come, this whole system falls apart. And uh, that is the reason why I think local government and independent government is, is very, very important. But it tells you that the people think this thing is a real mess, and, and they're right about it. Uh, I think we're only at the beginning of the unwinding of the problems that we've had uh, building for so many decades. So uh, the, the, uh, the working out of this is going right. to going to take a while. So, so Representative Paul, uh, everyone's still doing Monday morning quarterbacking, the post-mortem, if you will, on the election. Uh, what was it about Mitt Romney that, uh, I mean, uh, real quickly, you know, you, you really weren't a fan. You didn't get behind him at all. Uh, you have a ton of loyal followers. Perhaps, uh, you know, if you'd have thrown your weight behind him, perhaps he could have uh, won this thing. I doubt, I doubt that, because I don't think one person can uh, carry votes. Besides, I would have been the one that lost credibility because uh, although I got along quite well on a personal basis with uh, uh, Governor Romney, uh, we didn't have much in agreement, you know, on, on policy. When, right. you look at, when you look at a foreign policy and, and the spending, he wanted to spend $2 trillion more on the military, and uh, he was not a, much into civil liberties at all. He, and he was, he was a strong protectionist uh, I mean, bashing China and putting on sanctions. Sanctions right. to me are acts of war. Uh, so I always felt mixed feelings because I sort of liked them. And uh, our families got along real well. But it, there wasn't much that we agreed with. So if all of a sudden I say, oh, I disagree with everything he says practically. But now I right. say, okay, everybody vote for him. Well, Nobody would have understood that. I got to <laughs> tell you, that's one of the reasons you have such an amazing loyal following. And I do, I do want to ask real quick. It feels like in this postmortem that the Republican Party may be coming to an epiphany that you had a lot of things right, especially on social issues in this country. I mean, you think maybe the GOP is going to lean in your direction going forward? Well, let's hope so. I know that they at least uh, have a more open mind about looking at the uh, Federal Reserve, you know, and at the last minute there they started talking about, well, maybe the Fed is too powerful. Maybe they print too much money and they, have, uh, they can do too much uh, unsupervised. So, yes, I, th I think they will, but uh, I think it won't come quickly, and that's why I'm so delighted to go to the college campuses, because the young people seem to have a much more open mind. And I think it usually takes, you know, a while uh, to, to change the course of a country. But I think, right. as we were just talking about, this economy is going to get a lot worse. They're going to have to look for something. And I think some of the ideas that I've talked about became more credible 
after the recession hit, you know, the major crisis five years ago, because I had talked so much about financial bubbles and the housing well, bubble. A lot of people say you predicted all of this. Now, I said that was going to be the last one, but I do have to ask about, <laughs> uh, about Rand Paul uh, expressing perhaps some interest in running. What, what do you make of it? Uh, you know, I, you're very popular amongst young people. He's a fresh voice and a kind of person that a lot of people are looking perhaps to come in. Are you excited about the prospect? Well, it, it certainly would be exciting. Uh, it just happens that he and I have not had a conversation on this, so it seems like four years a long way off. You know, the, the election is over. Uh, when is the next, next election going to start? The next hey, day. The, these <laughs> days, the election can't. The election cycle never stops these days. You know that. Representative yes, Ron, Ron Paul, yes. i got to tell you, I've learned so much from you personally over the last several years. Uh, there's a reason you're a legend amongst people who follow you. I thank you for taking the time out. Thanks for having me on, Charles. Right, we'll Good to be you. with you. All right. Now, with the economy looking like an ugly doll, a union battle that's getting even uglier? Toys R Us CEO Jerry Storch isn't playing around. He's actually here next. Next.